Hello, welcome to my channel, Favor of Readings. I'm Kimmy, and today we will be doing a reading for the full cold moon in Gemini, which will be the longest full moon of the year. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to let everyone know that this is a general reading, and if some of the messages may not resonate with you, and that's okay. You can just pick on a different reading that will resonate with you, or maybe it's just not your time to hear that message. As well as I do not do any personal readings at this time due to personal reasons. Uh, if anyone tries messaging you in the comments or in your uh, personal messages asking you if you'd like a reading and asking you for money as a scam, don't give them your hard earned money. Now, using the energy that's uh, been happening since the opening of the transforming cosmic gateway that leads you towards your uh, purpose in life that opened on December 12th and will be going between today's date and uh, the December 18th and moving into December 21st on the solstice, which is the shortest date of the year for the amount of sunlight. I wanted to use that energy to put it towards an idea I've had where I want to do mystery readings. So I found an app and I have it here where it has the four decks that I want to be using and I will have their names down below. And I will be drawing uh, for the title and theme to go with that deck. So here we go. So it was the Weight Tarot deck. Yeah. And as for the theme, sorry if that was loud on your ears. Oh, the spirit wanted to remind you that I have intuitively picked the amethyst for the reading, which is for uh, promoting peace and removing negative energies. That's why I knocked it over. Thank you for the reminder. And for the theme title, we have How do I feel more energized? So we'll be doing an overall collective energy reading for how can I feel more energized? And it was the Weight Tarot deck. Even though we didn't use them, I still will list all the ones that were from the choices. Moon for Illusion. I see Divine Guidance and Abundance. So I feel like you will be getting a balance of energy here soon. Do, do. What is the collective? How does the collective gain more energy, please, Spirit? Also, don't forget to put out your crystals and stuff like that. If you want to make moon water, it'd be really great. If you see this in the next three days, uh, three days before and three days after, you can charge your crystals as well as make moon water for rituals or cleansing yourself during this time as well. Which one am I coming in at first? 
of stability. Some of you feel like you may have too much choices that could be draining your energy. Yeah, it looks like so much happiness here. Actually, with this card, I don't want to get too distracted, but... I actually had a meditation that turned into this. Yeah, this is the Ten of Cups. Um, with the Ten of Cups, it's almost like when all your chakras are aligned. Um, each of them are seven chakras and it's each color of a rainbow. And when you are aligned, it like pours outwards, right? And you can be your own cup. So I just wanted to make a note of that, that, you know, when your chakras are aligned, you can wear the colors of them that you feel and look up online. Uh, what each of them represent and wear colors like me all different colors at once if you want to uh, or eat foods foods is really good fruits and vegetables and stuff like that that align with them so the oral collective on how to create more energy uh, it seems like it will be coming to the end feeling restless and tired or maybe getting over a sickness as well. And this will be a timeless reading. I will be putting that in the title, just so you know if you are seeing this after today's date, after the future. Right. Collective, how do I be more energized? the high priestess and the hermit came out so it's like follow your intuition and uh and staying in more and then allowing yourself to have rest as well as wish fulfillment so you know you can shine your light uh use your wisdom as well uh to discernment on where your energy is needed also you have divine guidance again with the hierophant which was also the male version of the high priestess so that's really awesome that you're balancing yourself finding balance within your life which can bring forth energy and transformation as well that's right nope. and to remember you're a superstar It feels like a lot of the collective is going to be walking away with this Eight of Cups, which symbolizes walking away, going away from something that leaves you feeling empty and not having your energy around and looking. It's like going up river, which usually indicates finding, you know, a town. Uh, and things that you can need in your life. So you're walking away and finding a better suited foundation for a home. Uh, some of you may be moving, you could be moving on and creating a foundation at a different job. You could have just finished 
Uh, you could be walking away from a relationship, family members, stuff like that. Or just your own way of thinking. Like, you see how unimpressed the moon is? Like, maybe you're just uh, feeling unimpressed by everything. And you're going to start walking away from, you know, bad coping mechanisms and uh, down-talking on yourself and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it feels like, you know, in order to feel more energized, you need something that's not, you know, emptying your cup. If you're filling your own cup, it's taking care of yourself, finding where you thrive, and then finding place where you can fill that cup back up. People who pour back into you. And if it's not, then it's not an equal relationship. You want give and take, whether that's in a relationship, your job, a business partner, or even the, the give and take between what you give to other people and what you give to yourself. So I see that, uh, feel that's what... That's why I see you have to, through my intuition of looking at the card and um, its original meaning, and I feel like that's what the collective energy is moving, collective group of us is energy is moving away from, is uh, learning to walk away. You know, if you um, have problems with blowing up and getting angry, you're going to be walking away and learning how to self-soothe. I use uh, healthy coping mechanisms. I've said it before, you know, screaming into a pillow, beating up the pillow, um, ripping up uh, pieces of paper, give them to recycle, they'll be turning to paper towels one day. Uh, one is making ice cubes and throwing them onto a towel in the bathtub and trying to get them to break. It's not that loud then with the cushion of the towel. Either way, I'll move on. And once we, we're moving on from that, we'll be having uh, the King of Cups, which it brings up abundance. You know, he, he's never going to run out of energy with having all of that flow of abundance. He's made his, and it doesn't have to be gender specific, it can be any gender. Uh, they've created a platform, a foundation surrounded in abundance. And with the other, um, I'm not sure if it's torso or symbol, you know, and it, the boats coming and supplies, you know, you got to wait for your supplies to come in. So don't be handing out you know, uh, your energy to others when you don't have it. Um, if you allow yourself to wait until you're rested or until you've dealt with your own things, then you'll be easy, you know, more well equipped to handle someone else's as you won't be distracted by your own situation as well as you deserve to, to take care of your own before you take care of others. The energy, and that's what's representing now, is the fact that you want to, you want to achieve this. So that's good, is that we're moving away from that. This is present, and what's working in the background is your indecisiveness. You know, you feel like you're being torn in two ways, whether that's, you know, uh, the way you've all you were raised and you always know have been so you don't quite know how to act another way so you're learning a different way but it's uncomfortable or moving seems uncomfortable because it's outside of your you know comfort zone and sometimes we all have to go outside of our comfort zone to receive some of the divine gifts that are meant for you and better things that are meant for you and I know how hard it is to let go sometimes. Um, being brave doesn't mean not having any fear. Being brave is being fearful and 
making the choice anyways. So making the choice to eat healthier, um, making the choice to to not, you know, making the choice to go and stay at this job or stay in this toxic relationship, whether it be platonic or intimate or family. I'm not here to judge. You know, it says here, right down at the soul of it all, in your soul, you want to be your own friend because yellow symbolizes friendship and your feet cover the soul. So your, your soul, even though your eyes are blind, your soul wants to be your own friend. And with this decision, one leads off into a part of the sky that isn't the moon and the moon symbolizes illusion. So one of these um, choices is an illusion. Like one of them isn't the truth of the reality of how you're going to reach being energized. If you feel droggy because you haven't worked out in a while or you're working out too much and you can't catch a break, then that's an illusion. You're 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 telling yourself that you need things when you're really not honoring your body or honoring your soul to be your own friend. And in order to be your own friend, you would have to honor, love, and and respect it. Your your being, um, you know, uh, it's, it's easy to give to others and it's hard to give to yourself. But you need to be your friend first and foremost. I'm not saying that you can't have friends or people won't love you unless you love yourself. It's just no one else can create that happiness within you when you're all alone without those people around. And you you don't have to be uh, without anyone around you to feel lonely. And sometimes it... All it takes is a little kindness to yourself to not feel that anymore. The advice card is to take action in small amounts in order to move away from whatever you're walking away from. If it's walking away from, you know, working out too much that you don't have time to rest or have fun so it's draining your energy because you're not being a balanced being um yeah so whatever is not bringing balance to your life it feels like you it will be walking away from in order to achieve more energy um sometimes working out makes you feel better after you know you feel good and healthy um, you know, after you walk away from a relationship, yeah, there's grievance, grieving, not grievance, a grieving process for everything. Um, giving up a food type that you're not allowed to eat and stuff like that due to allergies and you're like mourning the loss, but you can't just keep eating it. I'm using myself as an example. You can't just keep eating it even though you know it's going to hurt you. And the same with the relationship. You can't just keep staying there even though it will hurt you. But I'm with the Ace of Wands, um, you know, like your guides and spirit and your, you know, uh, support system around you. Um, just take a little, little action at a time. Because see, this wand only has just a little bit of blooming and from there you can grow you know if you want to write a book write a first sentence write anything funny try and write a joke stuff like that moving away from procrastinating putting things off um when you putting down social media stuff like that it, whatever it is that you're not giving time to yourself for will help make you more energized. You'll feel great after you go for that walk that you always want to, but you don't, right? So just take small action towards it 
and you can see in the background there, you know, take that walking stick and take it to your castle. You know, it seems like a very long and, you know, process and you may seem daunted or impatient by not having that, you know, a dream come true, uh, fantasy, not a fantasy, but, you know, um, dream come true and a castle there for you, you know, of accomplishment, the castle of accomplishment. And it's like, here, take this walking stick and it will help you. You can lean on it, you can use it to defend yourself, but just get going. And for the last card for this, you know, and that's the advice is just get going. And then the next card is the Eight of Pentacles, which means, you know, progress and achievement one step at a time. And I can see, like, how, you know, there's one behind him that's, like, done. And he does have that castle uh, a town in the distance. He got closer. And he's still working. So even though you make your way all the way there with your stick, walking stick, and now that walking stick has turned into a tree so that he can hang his accomplishments on it. And you'll feel so great about it, the fact that you did it. And... You know, at the beginning, it doesn't feel so great, like, when you break up um, and, or leave a toxic situation um, or leaving, you know, toxic parts of you behind. It doesn't have to be toxic. It just has to be, it could be outdated. You've grown. You're allowed to change. You don't have to have something be bad about you to just not like it anymore either and that may be something you need to hear as well I certainly need a good reminder to know hey I just don't like it it doesn't make you bad it doesn't make it bad it just makes it not for you and for the underlining energy we have the eight of wands which is wish fulfillment coming in so Seems like we will have a lot of energy if some of the reason why your um, energy was being taken away was from worrying and stuff like that, then, you know, I feel, see like a lot of wish fulfillment coming in for you as long as you take that first small action and keep taking action over time because, you know, we can always become, uh, you know, more fruitful and we can always become more knowledgeable we can always grow more as long as it's in the environment you're meant to be in and you're not always supposed to be in the environment you're currently in so um the confirmation card on if you choose to stay in the decision of illusion and not the reality of the situation with or you know you're thinking with illusion like anxieties and stuff like that the conclusion card is the nine of swords which means like you know not sleeping well being tormented over an idea or a situation and it's you know it's just not happy about it but see you're still covered and there's there's flowers here and you're still covered in that abundance once you you know make the decision to walk towards the action of which will make you more happy then I see you being fruitful and abundant in energy because I feel like there may be a matter of the situation draining your energy and you just don't feel like you're yourself anymore and it's weighing down on you and that could take a lot of energy or maybe people surrounding you who are energy vampires and zapping you and you know once you drop the dead weight and I'm saying it because they're energy vampires dead weight once you drop them it doesn't make them bad you know bad people it just means you're a higher vibration and different part of your journey than them. But 
must be a joke that matters. Once you drop the dead weight, then I see all, a lot of your energy coming back for you. Um, if it's like depression and stuff like that, um, please take the steps towards healthy coping mechanisms. You can Google a lot. I do a lot of that myself. I will also be posting down below the link for uh, a list, a playlist from my uh, therapist in case anyone would like to go through them and watch them. They're usually short videos, so it won't take too long. But yeah, I see in the corner there that there's two people that look kind of like each other. It feels like some of you, uh, the collective may be fighting or, uh, fighting something within themselves. It could be a dark night at soul. It could be fighting, uh, you know, working on your shadow self as well. Uh, or just fighting, you know, because uh, sword has to do a lot with the mind. So I feel like a lot of it has to do with fighting your own consciousness, whether it be a diet or, you know, worries or the relationship, um, what should I do, what should I do? I feel once you decide for your, you know, with discernment and decide to walk away and walk towards making those good healthy choices to make you more of a roundabout person, you know, fun, love for, towards yourself, uh, eating right, um, you know, working on creativity, all those different things, and rest, you know, all those different things, so you can be a roundabout person will help with your energy, because I feel some of us are a little bit off balance, whether it be from the environment or our own um, that inner demons. So <laughs> for those again, it is the amethyst that I intuitively picked. And I hope that, you know, you can find that peace and remove those negative energies, whether it be from within or around your environment. Because you deserve love and peace and, you know, all, you deserve the very best. And I believe in you and I know you will make the choices to slowly walk towards your dream come true. Whatever that dream come true is, finding a better job, finding a better relationship, finding a better way to treat yourself because you deserve it and yeah that's the energy um may you have a happy full moon and uh, i'm excited about doing this new reading i uh, it was um it was a heavy energy type of reading. I hope you felt um, a little encouraged and inspired uh, by the messages. And uh, if you'd like to see more of these style of videos, uh, I would appreciate you leaving me a comment. Or if you'd like to hear any other kind of reading to add it to the container, I would be appreciative that as well as I can always have extra ideas from others and uh, I look forward to seeing you all at my next reading remember to eat hydrate and have fun all right bye now